Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. I'm Shraddha Pawar from Standard 2nd subject EVS. Today we are going to learn an interesting topic. Our today's topic name is Our Need for Food. Before starting the lesson, I would like to ask you a few questions. My first question is, what gives us energy to work? What gives us energy to work? Children, tell me fast. Yes, very good. Food. Food gives us energy to work. Correct. Very good, children. Now, my next question is, what do we need when we are hungry? Yes, children. What do we need when we are hungry? Yes, correct. We need food when we are hungry. Very good, children. First of all, we will see introduction. Okay? Food is very essential for our body to grow strong and healthy. Yes, students, food is very much important for our body to grow strong and healthy. Okay, now next. Therefore, we should eat all the bodybuilding food. Okay. Such as cereals, meat, fish, eggs. Understood? Okay, students. We should eat all the healthy food. Now, we will see in details. So, first is milk and milk products. See here, children, in this picture you can see Milk and milk product. Milk product means, for example, paneer, cheese, butter, buttermilk. Understood? These all are milk product. Milk is a complete food in itself. We should drink it every day, at least once. We get cheese, butter, paneer, buttermilk, ghee from milk. It is rich in proteins. Students, here milk is a complete food. Some children did not like to drink milk. But actually milk is necessary food for our body. So, we have to drink it at least twice a day. Understood, children? Now, next, ice cream. Yes, I know. Everyone likes to eat ice cream. Correct, no, children? So, ice creams are also made from milk. So, you should Eat this also. Now next we will see about cereals and pulses. Cereals and pulses are also an important part of our food. So we prepare our daily meals like rice, dal, chapati. Understood? So students, Cereals and pulses also very important food for our body to grow strong and healthy. Now next, 
we will see about vegetable. Children, here you can see in this picture, many vegetables are there. For example, yes, what are there? Brinjal, cauliflower, radish, onion, potato, tomato. Correct, no? Green peas, radish, onion. These all are vegetables. Now we will see about in detail vegetables. Brinjal is the king of vegetables. Vegetables like tomatoes, potatoes, onion, radish, cauliflower, bitter gourd are eaten daily. All types of vegetables are good for our health. So students, who is the king of vegetables here? Yes, very good. Brinjal. Brinjal is the king of vegetables. So children, we should eat all types of vegetables. Now next, leafy vegetables. Leafy vegetables like spinach. It means palak. Fenugreek are rich in iron. Fenugreek means methi. Children, we should eat all the leafy vegetables. This is also good for our body to grow healthy and strong. Understood children? Vegetables like radish, carrot, cucumber can eaten raw. They are also used in salads. I know everyone knows about salad. But some students are did not like to eat salad. But children, you should eat. You should eat salads. Understood? Now next, fish, eggs and meat. Children, some people also eat fish, meat and eggs. Some people also eat fish, meat, eggs as their food. They have rich nutrients which helps in physical and mental development. Yes, students, some people are vegetarian and some people are non-vegetarian. Non-vegetarian means what, students? That I will explain you. Non-vegetarian means some people eat fish, meat and eggs. So, it's called as non-vegetarian. Understood? They are very rich nutrition. Now next, fruits. Here you can see in this picture, many fruits are there. Correct? No? Which are there? For example, bananas, chikus, papaya, pineapple, grapes, apples, oranges, pomegranate. Correct, no children? Okay, very good. Fruits are very good of fiber, minerals, vitamins and antioxidants. Mango is known as the king of fruits. Every fruit has a different taste. So, we should eat all the types of fruits. Children, understood? So, we should eat all the types of fruits. Now, children, tell me who is the king of fruit? 
Yes, very good. Mango is the king of fruits. For example, your bananas, chikus, papayas, pineapples, grapes, apples, oranges, etc. They are very good for our health and immune system. Now, have you understood which type of food we have to eat? Children, here I will tell you which instructions we have to follow while eating time. Okay, children? Are you ready? Okay. Some instructions you may follow while having your meal. Do not talk while eating. So, students, we should not talk while eating time. Number two, always wash your hands before and after your meal. Children, you should wash your hands before and after eating. Understood? Remember this point. Now, next point is eat your breakfast, lunch and dinner at a fixed time. Children, we should have our big breakfast, lunch and dinner at a fixed time. Next point is, don't eat uncovered food. It is not good for health. So, students understood this point? We should not eat uncovered food. It is not good for our health. We should eat always covered food. Remember this point children. Eat your food slowly and in a clean place. Children, always we should eat food slowly and in a clean and neat place. Now, next point is, do not overeat as it adds fats to our body. Okay, students. Next point is, never waste food. So, students, remember this point. Don't waste your food. These are the few instructions why eating time that you have to follow it. Do not mess up the place or table while having your meal. Children, you have to remember these all points and you have to follow it. Okay, children? So, all together we learn that Number one, food gives us energy to work. So, we should never waste food or eat it in an angry mood. Understood? Now, next point is, there are a lot of people who don't get enough food. So, we should not waste food and think about them. Number three, it is always good to give food to the poor ones or twice a year. Come on students, it's time for your homework. Question number one, answer the following. Number one. Which food is a complete food in itself? Children, just now I taught you which food is a complete food in itself. Tell me fast. Yes, very good. Answer is milk. Milk is a complete food in itself. Okay? 
Now next question is which are the vegetables that can be eaten raw? Answer Yes, vegetables like radish, carrot, cucumber can eaten raw. They are also used in salads. Okay? Now my next question is what do we get from milk? And answer, yes, we get cheese, butter, paneer, buttermilk, ghee from milk. Students, you have to write this question answer in your EVS notebook. Number two, underline the odd man out. See, number one, bhakri, chapati. Bread and grapes. Which one is odd man out children here? Correct. Grapes. Why? Because grapes eats a fruit. Grapes is a fruit. So that's why grapes is odd man out. Then you have to underline it. Okay? Now next number two, tomato, pineapple, apple and mango. Which one is odd man out children here? Correct, tomato. Very good children because of tomato is a vegetable. So that's why you have to underline tomato. Next number three, cucumber. Radish, brinjal and carrot. Yes, very good. Which one is odd man out? Brinjal. Then you should underline it. Okay, children? Okay, students. Then you have to write this homework in your EVS notebook. I hope you all understood this lesson very well. Thank you children.